To me, chemistry means that when you look at the world around you, that there's an answer. The work that I do today is in industrial coatings, and this is a really fun area to work in. So in order to prolong the life of a bridge or keep a rail car in service for longer, it is almost mandatory to coat it, and those are very high performance coatings. The other part of the market that Dow has a huge presence in is architectural, and while you might think that paint is just paint, obviously there's a significant difference between the one that is going to be put on a water tank that needs to support high quality water for years to come, versus the uh, color of your living room or even the exterior of your house. Corrosion is handled very differently in different areas. So in certain areas, it's more of an eyesore. Tanks can be rated on corrosion and they will be left in service for a significant period of time because it's mainly an aesthetic problem. Corrosion itself is ever present. You're mainly looking to prevent the impression that the machine is no longer good. If people lose faith in the safety of a piece of machinery, they will also feel that it is time to replace it, perhaps unnecessarily. However, if you go into a situation inside a rail car where that has food contact, the corrosion is going to be a higher concern to the owners of that car. Some of the biggest challenges, I think, are actually getting a product over the line. So there's so many different great ideas out there. However, in industrial chemistry, you need to finish, you need to close. That, though, is the challenge, and when you've done it, and when you've seen it work, and you've seen your product on customer shelves, that's part of what the fun is, especially at the job that I have now, where you're really at that interface between a new technology that's just coming off the bench and a new product that your customer is going to be putting out into the market. The American Chemical Society improves lives through the transforming power of chemistry. Help us increase the visibility of chemists and inspire young scientists by sharing this video. Or, share your own story as part of the ACS What Chemists Do project.